What's up? We have something on the therm, and it is... It looks like it's swaying back and forth behind a tree. Awesome. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That's the direction of what we heard behind us. Sweetie, are you okay? I'm okay. Man, this is crazy. I've been waiting for this kind of opportunity for over 20 years, and the women's team has it going on right now. So we're going to try to sneak quietly over to Renee and Missy and see and film these things for ourselves. Hey, there are. hey guys. You still have it on the I can't see it anymore. There's nothing out there now. It's like completely gone. You guys, Missy saw it first. She has not moved from the location. Tell them what you saw in what order. I just saw the, the top half first, and then it looked like it took a step to my left so I could make the outline of one leg out. Whatever it was, it's not there anymore. Did it spot us and move on? Out here, we're only able to look at a little image on a tiny screen, so we need to hurry back to our base camp and take a closer look on a bigger screen. Okay, I've uploaded the footage to the computer so we can take a better look at this thing on a larger screen and figure out what you guys saw. Well, there's the heat spot. See, it looks like there's something back, it looks like there's something back there. Look at that, it's dancing. It even looks like it has the two legs. Yeah. Yeah, one of the first things that jumps out to me here is that it's really washed out in general. I'd have to wonder if maybe the therm wasn't set quite right. There's so many different points with the same level of heat intensity that that's the big giveaway that there wasn't something standing there. Now that we're looking at the thermal clip on a bigger screen, it's obvious that was a hot spot on a tree. But what really sticks with me were those noises that seemed to be following us through the woods. Whenever we moved, it would move. Whenever we stopped, it would stop. It really felt like something was stalking us. And unfortunately, we never figured out what it was. You stayed in the same spot, and you didn't move, and you kept the therm on that area. So I mean, it didn't turn out to be what you hoped it was, but you still did the right thing. I was excited. I thought we had something. Yeah. And I have to say, you're not getting the credit you deserve. When I held that therm and looked in the direction you showed me, I wasn't seeing all these other heat sources. I was seeing trees, holding it still, and then I would see that movement. This is obviously all Renee's fault. <laughs> <laughs> The bottom line is that we had somebody new to the field holding a piece of technology that had never been held by her before. I don't blame her in the slightest for thinking that was something alive. Well, we didn't get it on camera, but we did get a lot of witnesses coming down here, enough to tell me there are Bigfoots in Mississippi. 